Okay, so this will be recording for the sake of uh, your classmates who are not around. So before we start, um, some schedule announcement. So on December 6th will be the schedule of our long exam. So the coverage will be um, the lecture 6 and lecture 7. So I guess uh, this afternoon we are not yet uh on the spherical triangle so i hope uh on six seven eight since eight is a uh, holiday so i will be giving only the recording of the lecture for the spherical triangle since on monday you will be having your long examination okay so this i um i hope who are present today is also present last time so for the information of who is absent yeah last time so this presentation i already showed this last time but i did not discuss thoroughly so we were going to discuss thoroughly this one and give you some exercises so uh, even if we are only nine this afternoon we need to start because i am going to attend some important meeting this um 4 30 so i guess we need to finish this one early so this is just a very short um uh, topic and i think we can uh, finish this one by four okay so any question before we start any problem so just type yes if we are good to go for the discussion on the chat box please Kindly type yes if you are with me right now this afternoon. Okay, thank you. And I'll be happy if you can or you may open your camera. I will be happy to see your faces. Okay. So let's begin so that we can end this one early. So last time I gave you a sample problem for the the application of the law of sines and the law of cosine, and most of these those are just a problem of application of the elevation and depression. So uh, the the concept of solving the the trigonomet using the trigonometric functions is basic. You only just follow or just identify the different given uh, angles or sides and then you apply the relationship either you, you can use cosine you can use the law of sine or even apply the the pythagorean theorem okay this time um we're going to tackle the triangle and the elements of the triangle so we all know that the, the unit of the, the shape is the triangle. So if we are going to deal with poly, polygon, so it consists of a series of triangles. So let's discuss with the basics. Since this is a trigonometry, so we are only dealing with a triangle. Okay. So I hope you can see the presentation. Just uh, open your mic if nagahang yung presentation. On the next slide. Okay. slide next the next ba the next slide this one nakikita naghang ma'am naghang yes ma'am yes ma'am if si share ko na lang ang bugos na skin mo sorry for all that Okay, so this now and then na, 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 na next slide na yes ma'am okay thank you so start na kita. 
So for the triangle, so we only have here three topics. We are de determining the area of the triangle, which is very important in the field of surveying. So we are dealing with computing the area. So the basic is the area of the triangle. We are also to determine the median and the altitude of a triangle. So in the last time, we'll be having a, a short exercise to this one. So as we all know, uh, in our high school elementary subjects, we are taught all this, the, the how to compute the area of a triangle. So if you are given with the height, okay. so if you are given with the height and the base of the triangle, Okay, so in this illustration here, so given the base, we say the base, if this is the, the upper portion of the triangle, and the height is measured from this vertex here until in the, the bottom part of the triangle where it lies in the horizontal, so that will be our base. So if you are given with the height and the base, so to just to make sure that the height is perpendicular to your base, so it is perpendicular, it will be equal to 90 degrees, then we can um, identify or determine the area of the triangle by just this formula. So we already know this one. That is area of the triangle is equal to one half base times height. So that if you already given the base and the height. So in, in other cases, you will be not given the value of the base and the height. In some examples or in some circumstances, the only given is the, the sides of the triangle. So this is very common in the practice of genetic surveying. So you only, um, you only know the distance between the corner of the parcel to the other corner. So let's say this is the corner of the parcel or a lot. So this is corner A, B, and C. And you all have, if you're going to identify the area of this of this parcel, which is in triangle in shape, then uh, and you can determine the, the length of this point here to this point. So let's say this is C, and the, the distance between this point to there and the other one. So you are... You already know what is the length of the sides. So if in this case, since you don't have the height and you don't have the base, but you can determine the height and the base, by the way. So you just um, you just employ the log sign and the cosine, then you make the line here, then you can identify the base and the height. So but in a sense na mas madali masolve, we have another formula. So this is derived from this formula also. So if you are given with the sides and one of the included angle, let's say we have included angle here C or included angle here B or an included angle A, you can use this formula. It's given by A is equals to one half AB sine of C. Where C, this is the included angle of B both side AB. So in this illustration here, so if this is the included angle, then this is A and B. So area is equals to one half the adjacent sides, which is AB, sine C, where C is the included angle. So I hope you follow this one. So the same is true with the other. So for what if A is given, what will be now the formula? Arca, what will be now the formula if the angle A is given? Um, A is equal to one half mm -hmm. BC mm -hmm. sine A. Okay, very good. So that will be now A equals to one half CB sine of a so the same is true if you are given with the angle b so the formula will become one half a c sine of angle or included angle b okay okay so just follow this one so i hope you get that 
Now, however, if you already given decides, what if, what if you don't have the value of the um the interior uh, angle? What will happen to the formula? So, if this is the case that you don't have the value of the included angle, so there is another formula for that. So, according to the scientists, we have the herons. So, if you are given with A, B, and C, and you don't have the angle, so let's say you don't have the value of the included angle here, so wala siya, so all of the A, B, and C. So, the formula in completing the area will be the square root of F times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where C, S, that is called, what is S called? Any idea what is S? Any idea from the class what is S? S is, is known as what? Is this your first time to encounter this formula in computing the area of a triangle? Anybody from the class who is familiar with the value of S? Mm -hmm. Monghe, um, have you encountered this formula? What is S known for? Takumaram uh, na with S is the equivalent of A plus B plus C all over 2. Mm -mm. What is A plus B plus C? That is? Their sides, mom. What is, uh, I mean, what is A plus B plus C? That is the That is the perimeter of the triangle. So what is the formula for the perimeter of the triangle? That is equivalent to the sum of the length of the sides. So in this case, S is the semi-perimeter. So if it's a semi-perimeter that is perimeter A plus B plus C divided by 2. So just take note of the S. So S is the semi-parameter of the triangle. So if you are given with the sides, let's A, B, and C, and you don't have the value of the angle anywhere, then you can use this formula. So this formula is very useful in, in our field in genetic engineering. So in the course of... Um, astronomy and other subjects related to astronomy we are dealing with this formula and also for the spherical trigonometry we will be facing this formula so this is the basic we have the square root of s minus uh, s times s minus a s minus b and s minus c where s is the semi perimeter of the uh, of the triangle. So, S equals to A plus B plus C. Yung perimeter niya divided by 2. So, that is the other formula. So, do we have also additional formula for that? So, if you are given with the um, three included angles and one side. So, uh, it's different from the other one kanina. So, and, and kanina, meron tayong three the sides and then angles. So what if um, the only available angles we have is the included one? Let's say A, B, and C, and you are given with one side. So you could either use the sine law to determine the other sides if you want, but mas madali siyang isolve if you already know the this basic formula. So, you can use this formula if you are given with included angle. So, area is equals to A squared sine B sine C over 2 sine A. So, para mas madali ma, ma uh, familiarization formula. So, if this is A, A squared, so let the sign, you squared the, the given side. And then, whatever is A, so this is A. What is opposite to this one? This is written at the denominator. So again, so if this is A, so in the illustration, this is A. What is opposite to A? The angle opposite to small letter A. This is equivalent to 
the included angle A. So this should be written at the bottom. And the two remaining angles, included angles, is written on the top. So area is equals to A squared sine B sine C all over 2 sine of A. Okay, the same is true if the only given angle is C. So let's say this is small letter C here. So we have small letter C here. So the area now will be equal to, can you give me now the formula? Um, uh, Dublin, can you uh, dictate the formula if you will give in the uh, side C? C squared. C, C squared, squared times, times sine A, sine B. Sine All over B, 2 sine C. Over 2 sine of C. Okay, very good. So this is same as true as you are given with the, uh, if you are only given with one side B opposite to the included angle B here. So this will become B squared sine of A, the sine of C. Sorry. Kanan. Excuse me. It's IGB. No, no, no. Scholarship at I one. Ah, Oh, I to post to Nadiri ala pag. So we have here sign of Okay. You just take notes so that we can use the formula in the exercises later. Okay. Okay na? Can we proceed to the next slide? So area equals to the side squared sine of the angle at 2 adjacent angle sine B sine A over 2 times the sine of the opposite angle to the side. Okay. So you have to um, for the for the parts or the elements of the uh, the triangle, just familiarize with this uh, one. So when you say I I perpendicular bisector, so we just just create one vertical line along the triangle, then it will create a right angle. So let's say here, so that will become now a perpendicular bisector. So we have also angle bisector. So if this is the uh, the whole angle and bisected by the line so that is called the angle bisector so this line here is the angle bisector so we also have the median so for the median if we from one vertex to the base of the the triangle then from this line here it is divided into half let's say this is the length of this line here so here is 1, then the length of this from here to the other side is 1. So the median is located in this portion here. Okay? So we have also altitude. So when you see altitude, that is the height of the triangle. So measured from this vertex here to the base. So let's say this is the base at the bottom. So this is the base of the triangle creating a perpendicular that is now the altitude. So we denote altitude as usually as H. Okay. So we also have circumcenter. So circumcenter is created when a triangle is bisected. Okay. So let's say, so this triangle is bisected. So this is the vertex. One, two, and three. In every, in every side of the triangle, it is divided by two. So like example, this is the median. 
and this side this is the median of the other side and this is also the median of the other side so from the median like create can perpendicular bisector from the median so by definition of the perpendicular bisector so we create this uh, straight line up to the up to the median same here from the median we project another uh, line and from the median also we project another line so at point at which this three um, lines is intersected so this is called the circumcenter okay so we have also in center so in center is equidistance from the sides of the triangle so let's say this is the we have the angle bisector here so when we say angle bisector the angle is divided into two equal parts so let, let's say this is 10 degrees and this is another 10 degrees okay so if this is five degrees this is five degrees if this is 20 degrees so this is 20 degrees so from this bisector we have the angle bisector here another angle bisector and another angle bisector so it will be forming an end center so the center here is called the end center okay so the very common um, element of a triangle that will be used is the centroid so this is very useful in your subject in physics in determining the centroid of the object okay and the ortho center also so ortho center will be used in your subject in photogrammetry in the future so in, in your i think in your third year or fourth year so we have to introduce this one so when you say centroid so let's say um from the vertex to the median so if here is the median another median of your triangle so if this is intersected so if we extend the the median up to the vertex of the line so if the median and then another median from this line and then another median since we have three median for the three sides so the angle intersection of the three median is called the centroid so the center of the mass of an object is located in this portion here so that is called the centroid okay so the last one we have the ortho center so the ortho center has no properties to learn on this time but this is very uh, important in the subject of photogrammetry so that's why we introduced this one so when you say ortho center so let's just say we create a from the vertex we create a line that it would intersect perpendicularly to the other side so let's say this is perpendicular and another one is if from the vertex here then we create we project a line here and then create a um a perpendicular same is true with this one so these are altitudes right so since altitude is measured from the vertex up to the base and creating a right uh, angle or perpendicular so if this is altitude one this is altitude two and this is altitude three then the intersection of the three altitude is called the ortho center so take note of these terms so you have the circumcenter the in center the centroid and the ortho center so during the board exam um, some of the problems will not mention or will not display the illustration. They just mention this is the ortho center, this is the centroid. So you just need to familiarize what is the the face or what is the how is the centroid, how is the ortho center is being uh, illustrated. Okay. You are you still there? Can I hear a yes from the class? Can we yes, now um, move to the next slide? Am I too fast? No, ma'am. Okay. 
Okay, so I mentioned this one. So for the our target for this lecture is the median and the altitude only. So for the median of the altitude, again, this is the three median always meet at one point. So if this is a one median of the triangle, this is median one. This is uh, the median two. So this line here is the second median and this line here is the third median so that is m3 so take note that the median is measured from the vertex let's say this is the vertex to the other vertex so we take it half so divided by two so that is the location now of our median same is true with the other side so from this vertex to the other vertex so the length of this this line divided by two that is now the location of our median along the sides of the triangle now how are we going to locate the position of the median or how are we going to locate the the, the amount of the median of the triangle so um by the formulas we have here just take note of the formula so we have you can uh, you can either uh, memorize or familiarize with this formula. What, but if you want to apply the basic, you can apply the law of sine and the law of cosine to determine the value of the median. So as long as you are given with the quantities that you need, you have here the angle, you have the sides, then you can determine the value or the length of this one. Then you can determine the value of the median. So that is for if gusto mo nga tag sa tag saon mo pag solve. But if you want the the easier one, especially if you're if you're taking an exam, for example, so just familiarize with the formula. So if you are going to determine the median at side A, so if our target is A, so use the formula of square root of two b squared plus two c squared minus a squared over four. So if our target is determining the median of B, it is square root of 2A squared plus 2C squared minus B squared all over 4. So whatever is needed, for example, if you are required for A, then we are going to write minus A squared. So if your target is to determine the median at B, then you just write uh, minus B squared. So same is true with C, then minus C squared. So the formula is square root of 2A squared plus 2B squared minus C squared all over 4. So take note of the formula. And then C, again, your A, B, and C is the length of the side of your triangle. Okay, so take note of the formula. We have the square root of 2b <coughs> squared plus 2c squared minus a squared all over 4. Okay, you take the screenshot of this formula. Okay, so let's proceed with the altitude of the triangle. So for the altitude of the triangle, we have here, so it is given that it would create from the vertex, it is measured from the vertex to the base. So let's say from vertex B, and this is side B. Now this is our base. Then we create a right triangle of this portion here. Right, so if this is the 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 in the in angle, the included angle B, then we create a line perpendicular to the base. When you say base, that is opposite to the included angle B. So yung base niya is small letter B. Then we take a perpendicular line that will equal to the right angle. So that is now the altitude of a so if you compute the altitude in terms of a 
in terms of B or in terms of C. You just compute the two area of the triangle all over A. For the altitude in terms of B, so this is the B. So we are referring to this one, this, this line here. If you are going to determine this line, so the formula is 2 times the area of the triangle or over the length of the, the base, which is B. Okay? So for C, so let's say, where is C? C is, this is measured from included angle B or C. Then you take the perpendicular line up to the base. So yung base mo ay C letter C then yung small letter. Then you create a right triangle here, a right angle. So this is 90 degrees. Then if you are going to compute the altitude to side C, your formula is to area of the triangle or over the length of the base which is equal to C. Okay? Okay? For a while now. Uh, review muna before we start with the um, problem. Okay, since we only have seven students around, who is around this afternoon, so we have here uh, five. So given the triangle, we have 70, 100, and 120. And you are required to compute the area of the triangle. Determine the median at side A, median at B, median at C, and the altitude. Okay, let's start with number one to compute the area of the triangle. Who wants to compute the area of the triangle? Any volunteer? Just open your mic and dictate uh, your solution so that we can start, uh, we can finish the, the item mas madali matapos. Okay? Uh, who wants to start with the area? Just dictate the, the your solution. Dublin, do you want to start with number one? Ako, ma'am. Uh -oh. Area of the triangle. Sige, ma'am. Wait lang, ma'am. The formula we will be using is the one with yung namay available na three sides. So first, we will get the semi perimeter. So the sum of all three sides is 290 divided by 2 is equals to 145. So this is 70, square. 70 meters. This is 100. And this is 120. Tama Okay, tama. So, what formula are we using? So, we have computer area since given three sides. So, what will now our formula? This is equal to? Area is equal to square root of square root of, 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 of the semi perimeter times minus a, right? Then, yes, no. s minus v times, times s minus c. 
Then after where our s is equal to a plus a b plus c all over two. Plus b all over two. Diretso na lang ha. So what is the value of a? Then this is equal to seventy. One hundred. You solve that one. I could calculate one hundred twenty over. So what is the value of S? One hundred forty-five. One hundred forty-five meters. So this is the value of S. So our area now is equal to one hundred forty-five times one hundred forty-five minus seventy. How much? One hundred forty-five times one hundred forty-five minus seventy times one hundred forty-five minus one hundred times. Ah, pwede pwede usal sa kona la one hundred forty-five minus seventy pa lang. Wait lang. Seventy, eighty, eighty-five. Seventy-five mo. Seventy-five. Seventy-five times um one hundred forty-five minus. 100. So let's say this is 45. 45. 45. This is 45. 145 minus 120. That is 25. So area is equal to square root of 145 times 75 times. 45 times 25. Mm -hmm. And what's the answer? 3,487.77. That is equivalent to? 3,497.77. That is in the square meter, right? So this is the area of, <coughs> excuse me, of that triangle. Okay, thank you, Dublin. So this is number letter A. I guess this is letter A. Number one. So this is number one. How about number two? Monghe, uh, you're there. Number two. We are going to solve median at A. So let's say yung A natin is um, A is equals to 700 or uh, 70. Sorry. A is 70, B is 100, and C is 120. So, what formula did you use? So, median for A. Hi, Nathan. Yeah. So, the answer is the answer. This is right. This is the median. We are looking for this one. So, median for A, can you dictate the formula, please? That is equivalent uh, to? Square root of? Square root two, of? 2. B squared. B squared. Plus. Plus. B two, squared. C squared minus? Minus A squared A all squared over 4. All over 4. So, this is? All right. Okay, so MA is equal to just direct substitution, right? So MA is equivalent to fifty two point four. Again? Fifty two point four. Fifty two point four meters. Okay, that is four A. Lulu, can you uh, solve for number three? The median at B, side B. 
is Lulu around? Adi pa yan. Okay, so what's your answer? Can you type the formula, please? So this is equivalent to the square root of two times two times two is square then plus two plus two, two times c squared c squared minus b squared minus two. Wala nang two, right? Sorry. Wala nang two. Minus b squared. Then all over. Four. Four. So what's the answer? 84.56 po. 84.56. Let me check. So this is MA is 54. Then MB. So this is side B. So from here. So this is B. So much longer siya because longer ang side B. So possibly this is 84.56 meter. Double check niyo yung answer ha. Uh, how about number four? We have median at C. Uh, do you have a volunteer? Matt, Arpa? Yes, please. Um, my answer, ma'am, is 62.4, oh, 62048, ma'am. 62? Uh, 0.048, ma'am. All right. If your answer is 62, then there will some, this is some, there is something wrong with number three, right? Because yung length ng side B is 100 lang, and then yung length ng side C is 120. Double check niyo daw yung, uh, yung median ng B. Okay, let's proceed with the median ng C. Let's just check mamaya. So, median ng B is C. This is equal to... Magkano to? This is 2. two. A squared. A squared. Plus. Plus 2. B squared. Minus. Minus. A squared, ma'am. Oh, C squared, ma'am. All over. C squared, ma'am. All over 4. So, MC is equal to, I double check mo um, na yung answer, ha? I double check mo na yung answer. Double check na yung 62. Nasagot. Double check mo na yung answer. I try ko. This is 4. Two times seventy squared plus two times one hundred squared minus one hundred twenty squared. Tama yung sixty two. We have sixty. Meron tayo sixty two. This is 62.05 meters, right? Tama? Arta? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can, can you check the median of B? Baka nagkakali lang pag-input sa calculus. This is 120. This is 100. 270. Yes, this is 84.56. So if you are coming from this side, from this vertex, then this is a median. So the median at side C is equal, side B, that is equivalent to 84.56. So this is the answer. 
this time this is the answer okay how about the altitude compute the area of the uh, the altitude since we already have the area right so we already have the area madali na lang masolve yung ating altitude um tingnan mo pa na mention monghe kilay okay very good can you so your dictate na lang your solution kilay you can open your mic please and kun la mam kun an a ang gin pa pamiling ano 70 99.93 so we have number kun, 5 and isagot lang ha for altitude at uh, side a side a yung sayo uh, so we have altitude that a that is equivalent to that is 2 times the area na 3,497.77 all over 70. 70. So this is equivalent to double 19, check ha yung iba na hindi na so 99.93 97. 97. Very by 70. 99.93. 99.90. 94. 94 na yan. Meters. How about yung iba? Uh, Monghe, kindly uh, answer yung H sa B. Yung altitude outside. Hello? Okay. So, uh, mm -mm. wait, no. Yung B, yung B. For the altitude of B, mm -mm. two times the area of the triangle all over 100. Mm -mm. Then, was 69.95. 2497.77 over 100, right? Yes, ma'am. 100. That is. 69.95 meters. Okay. For the last one, can we uh, solve na lang for altitude at uh, side C? So, yung HC is equivalent to 2 times 3, 4, 7, 9, 0.77. Pakit solve na lang yung answer. That is 120. So, HC is equal to ilan yung sagot? 58.29 oh, 30. 30. 30. Oh, 30 na. 30 na yan. 30 meters. Okay. So, if you uh, uh, in the sense na you forgot the, this formula, so yung um, alternative, so you can use the sine and the cosine, and this you can just determine the value of this altitude in the median. Okay? So any problem with this topic? So sorry, I did not um, prepare the presentation yet for the spherical triangle since we have a meeting this morning. So that will be next week but we are final with the schedule of our long exam that will be on monday okay, for the long exam on monday um most of the problem is in the law of cosine and the law of sine the application more on the application and then i will also include the computation of the area median and the altitude okay so any question since already four any question with this afternoon's topic um by the way i forgot to post the the 
video recording last time. So this afternoon, I'll be posting the video recording, including this afternoon. So just inform your classmates since those students who already attended last time, here lagi happen present today. So thank you again for attending this session this afternoon. Do um, you have any question? Can you open your camera, please, for the documentation? By the way, we are required to submit or for the recording. Sana next time you will be opening your camera. Because on the evaluation, we are required to submit a video recording with the students opening the camera. So I know it would cost a lot of your data since you're opening the camera. So it's a good thing also na bangin magkakita kita sa downtown, makikilala ko pa mo. Or bangin next year, muray nga yung kilala, sudyanti ka mo. So just prepare for next semester. So we are praying that we will meet face to face. We already have a, we already have a major subject next semester. So okay. Um, saglit lang ha. Three, two, one, smile. Okay. Do you have any question for this afternoon? Uh, by the way, for the subject, uh, uh, ano na na mga subject? Algebra. So for the algebra, I just po, I will just post the. Um, there will be no more a uh, final exam for the algebra, but we will be having one long exam for the last time that will be on December and your main test so that but you don't have the, a final examination written examination but there will be a main pass so that will be an activity for you to make as uh, equivalent to the grade for the final examination so we only have one long exam for the college algebra just in former classmates and i will be posting the the announcement also in the classroom so if you don't have any question for this afternoon thank you for attending the class so, and i hope to see the same faces and additional faces next week since we are going to discuss critical trigonometry okay so good luck on your exam or month if you don't have question you can log out to this link good afternoon and thank you thank you ma'am Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma